Welcome to the ElfQuest Collector's Guide, showcasing a different collectible or unboxing video in every episode. I'm your pack leader for this hunt, Mandy Roncalio Meyer, or as I'm known around the ElfQuest web world as my elf self, Shadowfire. Today, guys, we are unboxing the final book from Flesk Publications in the art book set. This was a set that was up on Kickstarter two years ago, I believe it was, and it was a Kickstarter for three art books. Uh, the first two have already been out and I will be doing showcases on them. They are actually right here on my desk. And uh, this one just came in. It's the last one and I'm going to unbox it for you guys. I was hoping it was going to come in earlier, but it didn't. So here we go guys. Um, also, please excuse me guys. If you notice my eye is just a little bit red and puffy. I have a sty in my eye right now and I'm dealing with it. It's really easy to take care of and it'll be gone in a few days, but please excuse my puffiness. I didn't want to make you guys wait for this unboxing and I didn't want to wait to unbox this until this went away. So here we go. Was that thunder? and thunder rolls as I record. <clears throat> Alright guys, so it just arrived today. I'm so excited from Flesk Publications. Alright guys, so uh, I got a lot of really great feedback. I'm going to talk a little bit while I'm unboxing this. Uh, I got a lot of really great feedback on that last uh, video that I put up. Uh, thanks to Amber Payne for her help on that. The special report. Uh, that was a lot of fun to make. It was my first collab. And Amber said she had a lot of fun helping me out with it. She really uh, had a lot of fun and she wants to do some more things with me. So I'm going to be doing some more collabs, hopefully with her and maybe with other people too. So keep watching out, guys. I've got, as I always say, I've got a lot of big plans for this channel. And I, I plan to just keep improving and making more videos, better videos, bigger videos. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. So let's get into the goodies. Our less publications. Okay, so these art books are actually available in two different versions. They're available in a standard, uh, like, bookstore st uh, style version, and they are available in a deluxe edition. I was lucky enough to be able to get all three of the art books in the deluxe editions. So, this should be good. So let me show you the first two really quick, just a quick glance. As I said, I'm going to do a showcase on these. I actually plan to do those next. I just need to finish my art portfolio series next, so that one will be coming up soon. But here is the art of ElfQuest. This is what the uh, slipcase for it looks like, and there's the book itself. Once again, that's just a sneak peek because I will be showing you guys this book as well as the next book whoops, the art of the story in some other showcases. So here's the art of the story with its slipcase, and there's the inner book. Once again, just a sneak peek, so stay tuned guys. I will be doing showcases on both of those very soon. But in the meantime, let's get back to unboxing the third book in the series. This one, oh, I've been waiting and waiting to see. Oh, mm, I've seen hints to this one. I have seen just all sorts of teasers to this one. This one is The Line of Beauty, The Art of Wendy Peeney. This one actually, from what I can tell, is not going to have very much elf quest art in it, but it's Wendy Peeney, so it's still going to be gorgeous. Oh, I see purple, and that's my favorite color. Slipcase alone is gorgeous, you guys. Okay, you ready for this? Here, I'll pull it out so you guys can see it. Get that out of my way. I've been bumped my light. As you can see on the back, I also got the Kickstarter goodies. Now, if you were able to back this on the Kickstarter when it was going on, it came with a bunch of goodies. It came with postcards, it came with bookmarks, it came with a very super special ElfQuest coloring book. Oh yeah! And as you can see, I already have a copy of the coloring book. 
So now I have a second copy. This is actually what you see here is the back of the coloring book. I'll show you guys what it, what it looks like a little bit. But uh, here we go. Yes, I am going to take it out of the packaging. I know most collectors are probably sitting there going, no, leave it in the packaging. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not one of those types of collectors. I'm one that has to carefully rip it open and have it in my hands. <sighs> I said carefully rip it open. I'm not going to just rawr. Plus this is just the outer packaging, so it's not that important. Okay, there we go. Now we'll pull out the goodies. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright. Fine. This is not going easy. This is this. There. That worked much better. <laughs> All right, guys, so here it is. There is Line of Beauty, The Art of Wendy Peeney. Now, this is still in its own plastic. It's still sealed, and I know, once again, collectors would be screaming at me to leave this sealed, but I'm not that kind of person, guys. I gotta get my hands on this sucker. I can't enjoy the book if it's closed up in here, so I'm gonna tear into it. But I'm gonna wait for just a second. I'm gonna show you guys some of the Kickstarter goodies that I received. Okay, so here's the goodies, some of the Kickstarter goodies. First of all, we have bookmarks. I'll stop talking weird. <laughs> We've got some bookmarks. These are really, really beautiful bookmarks. They're double-sided. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. Uh, we've got, I believe these are the postcards. Yep. These are the five Kickstarter exclusive postcards. Quite beautiful, quite beautiful. I'll show them one at a time. That way you guys can really enjoy them. This one was used as the cover of the Final Quest special. Very, very beautiful drawing. This one was from Hidden Years. It was also used as one of the promotional posters. I have it. I will be doing a showcase on that eventually. This one is known as, I believe it's called the Harvest Goddess. It doesn't say on the back. I thought it did. But I think this one's called the Harvest Goddess, a non-Elf Quest Wendy Peeny piece. Oh, and I love this one. This is one of my favorite pieces of Elf Quest art. Little Star Cousins with Lita and Cutter in a very romantic little embracing moment. I love that one. I've actually never seen lightning bugs, fireflies, whatever. Uh, I would love to see some sometime and just, I would probably have a moment where I would just stare at them and not know what to do because of the beauty of them. And let's see, for the final postcard, we've got Trickster Bear Claw and he's, looks like he's messing around with the humans and he's licking the blood off of New Moon, you know, you know, typical Bear Claw stuff. Oh, cool. So, also, something that they had available, 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 um, before the books actually came out was a nifty little teaser of the books. And one side shows the Art of ElfQuest, the other side shows the Line of Beauty. And it's just, oh, <laughs> gotta show this first image. Oh, that's right. These little booklets are also limited edition and numbered. I believe they are still available on the Flesk website. There's only a thousand total. So if you guys want another little exclusive piece of ElfQuest, go check out the Flesk website. I'll put a link down in the description below and get your own little teaser of this. And while you're there, get your own copies of these books because they're really gorgeous. They're a, an amazing piece of ElfQuest history. You can learn a lot from these books. They're funny because when you read through them, there's insight from Wendy and Richard throughout them. Then it's kind of almost like they're sitting there describing the books as you read them. So it's pretty cool. Definitely check it out if you guys can. But in any case, this was a little teaser that Flesk provided beforehand, only a thousand copies. I do believe they're still available, so if you want one, go get one. And this one is number 392. They also come signed by Wendy. So there you go. Close that in a little bit so you guys can see it. Oh, get the glare off. There we go. There we go. So cool. Got one of these. I actually have one already right here. I don't remember what this one number is, but now I've got two of these. Cool. So I can display one on each side. This one I have showing the Winnow Will side. This one I'll have showing that side. So cool. Stay. You stay there, Winnowill. 
You stay there. She listens to me? Oh, I doubt that. <laughs> All right. So then also a print came with the Kickstarter goodies and this was the exclusive print. It's a very beautiful one. I love this one. Not necessarily one of my favorites per se, but I mean, come on, all of Wendy's art is my favorite art, so it's kind of hard to narrow it down sometimes. So that's all the little goodies. And then we have the coloring book. I am not actually going to show you guys the images within here because there's supposed to be a surprise for those who get the coloring book. Now I'm really sorry guys, this is not available anywhere else but from the Kickstarter and the Kickstarter is over. Now there are going to be co some copies of these floating around for sale or trade because anybody who backed the Kickstarter at the top tier got a packet of these Kickstarter goodies for each book they ordered. Meaning for people like me who got all three books, we got three copies of this. That's why I have a coloring book sitting over here as well as I just received one. So there will be extra copies of these floating around. Um, if you're a member of the ElfQuest Collectors Unite group on Facebook, I've already seen some of these floating around being traded and whatnot. So if you'd like to get your hands on the exclusive Kickstarter ElfQuest coloring book, you should join that group. If not, keep an eye on eBay because I have seen them pop up. Prices vary at this point because they are extremely sought after, sought after and extremely hard to get a hold of. So keep an eye on eBay, join the ElfQuest Collectors Unite group on Facebook. I'll add a link down in the description and you might get your hands on the exclusive coloring book. You know, I actually am really curious. I want to see what number I had to begin with. So I'm going to open this up. It hasn't been opened since I received it and I received it before the books actually started shipping. So this hasn't been removed from the packaging in about two years, but I don't care. I do that for the show. I want to see what number I got. I have number 245 and this one is numbered 392. So 245, 392. I got two different numbers. Yeah. All right, guys. So that was all of the Kickstarter exclusive goodies, plus the sneak preview book that Flesk still has available on their website. And you can still get the deluxe editions as well as the standard editions of all of the art books on Flesk's website. As I said, I will add a link down in the description below so you guys can go check that out. Now, let's get to opening the Line of Beauty. So guys, the deluxe editions come signed and numbered. So if you're able to order from the Kickstarter, you are actually able to get a full set of the same numbers. So my set is number 281, and you can actually see that on a little sticker right there. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, guys. I'm sorry if it doesn't, but just trust me, it's number 281. That is the same number I have for the Art of Elf Quest and the Art of the Story. So. I have all the same numbers on the full set. That's just, that's a good feeling. I believe this is the first, yeah, this is the first numbered ElfQuest item set that I have of all the same numbers. So very exciting, very cool. All right, guys, and here we go, tearing into the plastic. Once again, don't scream at me, Uber fans. I'm sorry, Uber collectors. I, I gotta see it, and I don't wanna get the standard edition to see it, so. Sorry if this is painful for some of you. I don't mean for it to be. Okay, there we go. Now, oh, this is going to be beautiful. I'm going to open it this way. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Mm. Now, I believe this is uh, titled T uh, Titiana. T I'm not sure how, how to pronounce that name, actually. Uh, Titania? Something like that. I can't remember exactly what that one is. Guys, as much as I love Wendy Peeny art, I don't know the names of her non-ElfQuest art, so please excuse me if I get things wrong when I try to name them here. That's hopefully what this book will do. It will teach me some of these ones that I don't know by heart. So I'm going to move those out of my way over there. Put the book right here. And then I'm going to just flip through. I'm going to show a few pages, but I don't want to give too much of the book away because I want you guys to go out and get your own copies. Now, I will show, as we crack it open, the inside, oh man, 
All of the insides of these books have just a beautiful double spread image right there to begin with, just in the very first page. Oh, that's right. And then also, each one of these books came with its own exclusive print. And this is the one that came with this one. And I absolutely love this. It's a gypsy fairy. I believe her. This is entitled Gypsy Moth. Again, I could be wrong about that, guys. As much as I love Wendy Peeney art, I don't know her non-ElfQuest work very well. I have seen it. Might not have the names down, though. But once again, this is absolutely beautiful. I am totally going to get a frame for this ASAP. I wish I had one ready for it, but I don't. So, and it's all in purples. I love purples. I love gypsies. I love fairies. I love Wendy Peeney art. So, this piece makes me very happy, this little print. Very beautiful. Mm. Okay, sorry, I'll stop drooling over the uh, print that came with it and get back to showing you guys the book. So, as I said, nice big doubles page spread right there, just to begin with. Just to, It's almost like a teaser, like a taste of what's to come. Then we open up to the first page, and right here is a page that is only available in the deluxe editions, because this is the page that Wendy and Richard have signed. And there you can see them, right down there at the bottom. Wendy and Richard P. Book number 281. That's my set number. Mmm. Beautiful. I love the crystals in her headdress. You can really tell that this was some good practice work for what we're seeing in the final quest now. We're seeing a lot of crystals in the final quest. I won't say exactly why or what or where for those people that are not up to uh, up to speed on it all. But we're seeing a lot of crystals and it's very pretty. <gasps> oh my goodness. Now, I didn't think there was really going to be much elf quest to this, but I opened the page and I found Winnowell, my favorite character. And this, to tell the honest truth, is my favorite image of Winnowell. This is the Ode to Erte. I might be saying that wrong. I'm sorry if I am. But, oh, I love this image. I almost, I wish I could just rip it out of the book and print and uh, frame this image because I love this image of Winnowell. It is my absolute favorite. She's just so regal and mysterious in it. And mm, to open up the art of Wendy Peeney and see that first just tells me so much about this book. I'm going to love this book. Oh, so I'm going to flip through and I'll show you guys a couple cool pages and then I'll leave the rest to you. You'll need to get your own copy of the Line of Beauty to really see everything and know everything. Now, also, I'm not sure, guys. I need your help. I need to know, should I do a full showcase on the Line of Beauty after I read it, like I intend to do for the Art of ElfQuest and the Art of the Story? Or should I just leave it right here at this unboxing? Because I'm going to show you a sneak peek of it anyway. It won't be a whole lot of detailed information because I haven't read it yet. But leave me a comment down below. What do you think? Should I do a full showcase on this at a later point after I've read it? Or should we just leave it right here at the unboxing? Let me know what you guys think. All right, I'm going to find a few pages to show you guys. Perfect. I open it up and the first thing I see, I don't don't think it's the first thing in the book, but one of the first things I see is this awesome, beautiful little picture of Wendy and Richard. Wendy in her Red Sonia uh, cosplay from back in 1970-something, I want to say? Uh, and Richard with a shirt that says, number one, Wendy Peeney fan. That's absolutely adorable. This book has already been dubbed which, as Richard's love story or love letter to Wendy. So I'm really excited to read this. Richard put a lot of love, a lot of care into this book and all for his wife, his wonderful, beautiful wife, Wendy. So um, this should be really interesting to see. There's supposed to be a lot of artwork in here that has never been seen before. I think I'm actually on a page of it right now and I'm not going to show you guys that. So shh, you guys don't get to see. I will show you some pages, but not all of them. So, uh, I love this piece. I've actually seen this one online, and it's really cool to see it right here, a little bit bigger, blown up so I can see it in person. But uh, back in the 90s, there was a TV show called Disney's Gargoyles. I don't know if it, uh, my viewers are familiar with it, but Wendy was a fan and really loved the Gargoyles, and I was a fan when I was a kid growing up, and I loved the Gargoyles. So, seeing an image of the Gargoyles drawn by Wendy Peeney is 
very cool to me. It's kind of nostalgic, plus I, I love these characters. I think I could probably still name all of these characters. I'm not going to, but I think I could. Now, just to show you guys that I was completely wrong about there being no ElfQuest stuff in here, there's actually a lot more ElfQuest stuff in here than I thought. I thought that they would try to squeeze all the ElfQuest art into the um, art of ElfQuest and the art of the story of ElfQuest, but no, they did. They managed to get some more in here too. I mean, it makes sense. It's ElfQuest. It's one of. It's like one of Wendy's biggest achievements, other than Mask of the Red Death. So. Uh, it makes sense they'd include Elf Quest too. I just wasn't expecting it because I thought they'd cover everything already. But uh, no, there's some cool stuff in here about the elves we all know and love too. Oh, <gasps> I'm gonna love this book. I can tell because I just found a whole nother page of nothing but Winnow Will. I love Winnow Will. I know, guys, she's the she's the villain, but I've always had a soft spot in my heart for villains. I don't care like what their backstory is. I've always kind of liked the villains. So sorry. That's how I am. Call me a Sith. Whatever. I like the villains. <laughs> and then, of course, one of everyone's favorite, I think, True Peace in black and white, nonetheless. I don't know if I've really ever seen True Peace in black and white. You can really see more of the line work and detail when the artwork is in black and white. There's, there's like, uh, I'm sure many of you know, there's a big kind of uh, a debate as to which is better, colored ElfQuest artwork or black and white ElfQuest artwork. And really, it seems like most of the fandom is split because some people like it better in black and white, some people like it in color. color. Honestly, I, I just like ElfQuest. I like seeing it all. I like seeing the different perspectives almost of seeing it in black and white and then seeing it in color. It's like a whole different story. It's almost like seeing it from a different angle. So I'm just a big ElfQuest nerd. And the section I'm looking through right now is actually all about uh, Mask of the Red Death, which is Wendy's other big uh, big baby, <laughs> you could say. And I've actually never read Mask of the Red Death. Not really something that I'm into. Um, I've heard a lot about Mask of the Red Death, and I've seen images of the artwork, and now I'm getting to see more. And it's it's beautiful. It's, it's a different take on uh, Wendy's artwork. I believe she did it more digitally than she did with a lot of ElfQuest until more recently, of course. But uh, it's it's really beautiful. I'm not familiar with these characters really at all. Oh, that's a really pretty piece right there. Like, here, I'll show this one. Again, I'm not familiar with Mask of the Red Death, but it's um, based off of Edgar Allan Poe's story, which Wendy is a huge Poe fan. Uh, and it's about these two guys. I believe their names uh, Stefan and Anton, but that's about all I know about them. But here's a really pretty image right down here of Stefan and Anton. I'm not sure which is which, but I know these two guys are Stefan and Anton. Is that their names? Does it say right here? It does not say right here. I'm pretty sure that's their names. Again, I don't know which one's which. I'm sure, I'm sure there's going to be other ElfQuest fans, Wendy Peeny fans that are going to be like, Mandy! That one is Stefan! That one is Anton! Sorry guys, I haven't read Mask of the Red Death. Uh, like I said, it's just, it's not my kind of story, I've actually heard there's a lot of sex and nudity in it, and as beautiful as that can be, I'm not into that sort of thing. And it seems like it's a very, very dark story, especially now that I'm seeing these images from it that are in here. It seems like it's a very dark, but also very beautiful story. I don't know, maybe I will give it a shot sometime, but uh, until then, I can look in here and see the gorgeousness that Wendy did with it. Look at that. Just look at this. It looks like there's some hula blue going on. I'm not sure. These are some beautiful. Once again, uh, Wendy has always been just really good with making extravagant, gorgeous costumes. And that's one thing I have definitely seen from what I've seen of Mask of the Red Death is she does not she she does not hold back with uh, her beautiful costume designs in this. You can just see. Like, fire and ice. It's beautiful. Look at how it's got, like, he's got, like, this flame cloak. He's got, like, this ice crystal cloak. Mmm. Beautiful. Yeah, one of these days I might have to just read Mask of the Red Death just so I can see the beautiful artwork that Wendy's done with it. Oh! Oh! Belly dancing costumes. I like belly dancing. 
I've taken belly dancing classes. Ooh, this is kind of a cool one. It's a uh, line drawing and then a color drawing of Cutter's famous freakout that he just had recently that we uh, got to see featured on the cover of one of the issues of Final Quest. So that's just kind of cool getting to see the line drawing of it and then the inked finished product. All right guys well I have done flip through the book and it is flipping gorgeous and I really encourage you guys to go get your own copies of this book. You can get it on the official flesh official Flesk? You can get it on the uh, Flesk website as well as you can get the standard copies through TFA, which is Things from Another World, which is Dark Horse's official comics distributor. So guys, I highly encourage going and getting your own copies of these books. They are absolutely gorgeous. They are pieces of artwork in themselves. So check them out. If you have any questions about them, go ahead and leave it down in the qu comments below. Um, I'm going to probably give this a read once I stop recording, and I will be doing showcases on these books very soon. Once again, should I do a full showcase on the Line of Beauty, like I plan to do for the Art of Elf Quest and the Art of the Story, or do you think this covered this video right here, the unboxing, covered the book well enough that I should just leave it at that? Let me know down in the comments below whether you think which way you think I should do this, okay guys? And that's just about it. Now, before I end this episode, I am going to host another giveaway, guys. I think I get just about as excited as you guys do for these giveaways because I have fun helping people and I have fun giving stuff away. So the next prize for my new giveaway is going to be a copy of Starblaze book number one. Now, some of you may have seen recently I did a after unboxing, call it a post unboxing video if you will, of a mystery box that I bought on eBay. It was $15 and I got a bunch of really cool just extra comics and stuff but the majority of it was all extras. This was included. I already have my own copy of Starblaze Book 1, and so this is an extra book that I would like to give away to you guys. One of you guys, my viewers. One of you guys will win this book. I will say I'm very sorry. There is a little bit of damage to it. It looks like maybe a mouse got to it at some point and kind of chewed just a little tiny bit at that corner right there. Um, but Hey, it makes a good reader copy. If you guys don't mind that little chew mark, hey, it's a freebie. So, you know, um, but yeah. So if you guys would like to win a copy of Starblaze book number one from me, free of charge, then go ahead and leave your name down in the comments below. Make sure you've subscribed to my channel, please. And I will pull names out of my hat pretty soon. Let's see, let's give you guys, I'll give you guys one week. So. Uh, one week after I post this video, I'm not exactly sure what day of the week it gets posted, but one week after this video gets posted, I will stop taking names. So, if you'd like to win a Starblaze book, Star, uh, Starblaze book number one from me, free of charge, make sure you leave your name down in the comments below and make sure you've subscribed to my channel. Okay, guys? And I will be giving away a copy of Starblaze book number one. So, just like with all of my giveaways, Anybody that comments down below, I will take those names, I will write them onto individual little slips of paper, I will put them in my purple fedora, there's still names in there from my previous giveaway, and I will shake, shake, shake it up, and I will pull one name out, and the name, the, whoever's name I pull out, will receive this book free of charge. That person will need to contact me via Facebook, or Twitter, or email, or some way like that to let me know of your mailing address, and I will ship this out to you free of charge from me to you from one ElfQuest fan to another. Alright guys, that's it for this episode of the ElfQuest Collector's Guide. I hope you enjoyed the show, and I hope you learned some cool new info about the Line of Beauty and the rest of the art book set from Flesk Publications. Those books are still available for, pur for purchase, both the Standard and the Deluxe Editions. I'll leave a link down in the description below so that you guys can go purchase your own copies. I highly recommend doing so. These books are absolutely gorgeous, guys. Alright, so... Also, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like so that I know you enjoyed it. And make sure that you subscribe to my channel, and you might be able to win cool giveaways for vintage items like this whenever I host them. So, subscribe, comment below with your name, leave a like so I know you liked my video. And if you feel inclined, please share my video on the social media platform of your choice to help my channel grow and gain more subscribers and viewers. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for all the support that I've been get getting for this channel and for my videos. It's it's awesome. I'm loving it, and keep it coming because it just it inspires me to keep doing more stuff, guys. It just keeps me going. It keeps me wanting to make more and more videos, bigger videos, better videos, different videos. So thanks for the encouragement. Thanks for watching, and until next time, shade and sweet water, and happy hunting.